What is up, PD2 fans? Of Eric here. Uh, with the success of the Sorcerer's build, I decided to kind of broaden out and see what other classes could potentially use that similar setup. Um, given that Destruction has a Molten Boulder proc, my next best choice was obviously the Druid. Um, I was actually pretty impressed on what it could do, and it actually has a little bit more survivability just because you do have a couple pets you can use. Um, so anyway, without further ado, let's get into it and see what it can do. All right, so if you have seen my Sorcerer's build, you know what the build looks like already, but if not, we'll go through it really quick. Um, so obviously CTA with a, with a plus one load list for shouts, and then getting into this, we have our destruction, we have our Quetzalcoatl Helm. This will be important because uh, you do want that gust cooldown reduction, because you're only putting one point in gust, Although the fact that you have Ellie Skillers plus the helmet uh, will help it to reduce to 0.5 cooldown. So that's what something you want. Uh, Metal Grids plus one, Tabex plus one with two sockets. So you're getting the faster cast, you're getting the block rate. Um, so this is a nice all around piece. Innocence, obviously, is the big big point of the build here. Uh, Silkweave boots with life after kill slam, obviously, is going to be helpful. Um, not super necessary uh you could probably run like a merrill walks as you see i got a cam in there um you could probably just want run merrill walks instead because you do have your creepers who are going to help you get mana and life back um i just through my quick playing i was finding myself losing a little mana um so i would you could run either way probably better to just run merrill walks in fact i'll just put that on but anyway that's just kind of a, a mention there um but then going more into it, we got BK ring, BK ring, just need the life. I didn't really find SOJ to be more necessary. And um, you don't really need a, a wisp projector because you can make your own wisp, obviously. Um, so yeah, just two BKs just for the nice life. Uh, Arachnus mesh with block chance, obviously helpful to, to reach max block there. Um, so you actually don't need all those points into decks if you're going to run Marowak, so I can change that up and you don't need that extra strength because Marowak is actually giving you some nice strength in decks. Uh, and then a 10 FCR Occultist. So you do need a 10 slam somewhere uh, because if you are just running Occultist with 20, you're going to need 10 more to get that faster cast break point. Um, so this is the setup. And then obviously just Skillers, right? This again, pluggy build. So Skillers are a little nutty. Um, but you can see with all of these all reses, you are still a little bit low. Um, so you do, you could potentially maybe like put an um rune in there or an um rune in there uh, just to help out with your resistances. Because um, I think the big difference is you're not using the Kira's Guardian as the as the Sorceress would. Um, so that's, that's kind of the one downside. You don't have that extra resist. You don't have that extra, um, or that CBF. So... But we'll try it this way. I do think this is necessary. We'll try it with the Marowaks and see if we uh, run out of mana at all. But again, you already saw stats. Um, you know, stats are enough strength to wear your gear, enough decks to reach max block, and then just dumping the rest into vitality for a little more survivability. And then going into skills. <clears throat> so for skills, um, you are going to run Casting Volcano. So it's similar in the sense that the Sorceress would Meteor Teleport, Meteor Teleport. This is going to be Volcano Teleport, Volcano Teleport, right? Same setup. Um, so you are going to want to obviously have the synergies for that, right? So Molten Boulder, Fissure, Armor, Get In, right? One, two, three. So those are all there. You're maxing Volcano. And then you're going to be procking Molten Boulder. So you're going to want the, the, the synergies for that, right? Which you already have. You have Fissure, Volcano, Armageddon. You've already maxed those all out. So you're good to go there. Um, one point in all of these, right? One point in Gust gets you the, to that 0.5 cooldown. See, if I take this off, you'll notice that it's now cooldown to 2.5, which is kind of a bummer. So you do need that helmet. Um, nothing into shapeshifting and summoning is just one point in everything but i did have 20 points remaining at the end of it now bear in mind i'm 99 right so you are going to have a lot of extra points to play with i like having two grizzlies i think that's nice so i would probably max that out and maybe like not max out one of these synergies maybe like fissure you don't always well yeah i mean it's up to you if you only want one grizzly bear that's fine um you know while you're leveling 
if you want to just do that extra, little extra more damage but either way this is uh this is the setup i've done so um all right mercenary uh, is war strike ferocity headhunter's glory this is obviously going to help with your um uh, because remember your your armageddon excuse me your armageddon has physical damage your volcano has physical damage your molten boulder has physical damage so you are benefiting from all of that amp uh with all of those um yeah so that's mercenary war strike ferocity head arms glory innocence marowaks for cbf string of ears and hellmouth so he's going he is going to proc his meteors and molten boulders um obviously he has giant lightning resist or lightning mastery um so that war strike is going to be helpful I decided not to run Hellmouth here uh, because I do think that extra FCR is going to be very really helpful. And the Molten Boulder procs are just 22 is not really that significant. And the Fire Pierce I don't think is really necessary. Um, so yeah, I like the FCR. I think it's a smoother gameplay. So let us, uh, let's do a quick couple maps. Uh, I'm not gonna go to the end of each. I'm just gonna go to the boss and call it a day. Um, but just enough for you guys to see what it looks like. And as always, we start with cows because it's always fun to kill cows. So get our shouts up, get our Armageddon and our shield up. And like I said, same setup, right? Volcano teleport, volcano teleport. The nice thing about this build as well is that the volcano lasts a decent chunk of time. So you're, you're pretty safe to sort of teleporting out and assuming things will die. Now, obviously there's stragglers and packs from all over the place. So you're not going to necessarily see me killing everything in my wake just because stuff is moving from around. Um, but stuff is dying, right? And is not, it's not all the war strike. I mean, that's, that's obviously something you could, say about it like I can take war strike off and cows are still gonna die All right remember that volcano like I said is lasting a decent chunk of time so whatever you're not killing right away is going to die I'm just making my way up to the boss. Let's put that back on. And again, you do have that nice strong army. So, you know, nothing has died yet. Even my wolves have stayed alive. And I've been teleporting into some, some scary packs. I mean, here's a concentration on our pack. The other thing I do like about this build is I do think you kill bosses a lot quicker because you have that big molten boulder proc. And you can see her dying pretty quickly. So you do have that max energy and that max point molten boulder, um, which is pretty strong. So that was boss. Let's, uh, let's get into the next map. Um, so why don't we uh, do either one of these? We'll do sewers. And I'll finish off with thrones. <clears throat> so I'm not going to clear everything like I like I did in the past, just because I have other stuff I want to show you. But I do want to show you that whatever I stomp on uh, dies, right? Continuing to remember that you do still have your volcano going when you do teleport out. So even if they don't look like they die right away, they will die. So you can see now that my mana is getting a little low. So that's like that's why I thought the silk weave was necessary. <clears throat> I think there's only so much that the creepers can can do as you're moving fast. So 
So I will put on my uh, Mar uh, Silkweave for the next next one. Do I have them in here? Nope. Must have put them in my bank, meaning they're they've disappeared. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Let's get to let's get to the boss. You see what it can do. All right. We gotta check Geed. What do you got for us, Geed? Nah, nothing good. Maybe a maybe a Haas. Alright, we got the boss coming up here. Let's tell a stomp him. I mean he dies so fast. You know, I think this is way faster than uh than what the sorceress was doing for killing bosses. See, I lost some of my wolves, so I'll summon them real quick. All right. Um, all right, last but not least, let's get into the thrones, and we'll do that. I'm going to put my Marowaks on, because I do think they were uh, necessary. Or, excuse me, my silk weave on. And we'll have to juggle around some points here. Should be a max block with that. There you go. <clears throat> All right, do this real fast. <clears throat> and I think this is the most important one to show because I think this has a high degree of difficulty as far as maps go. Um, lots of damage, lots of difficulty killing mobs. So it's good to see that it can still kill mobs and it can still uh, survive with these kind of reckless play style. And as I said in the past, um, you know, in the introduction, the army is nice uh, because it is keeping your mercenary alive. And just to show you that I am killing everything. I mean, I'm sure these are from down the corridor, but yeah, I, I want to make sure that it's not just like I'm assuming they die and they don't. Um, obviously, there's mobs from other areas running around, but yeah, you are killing. You are killing the things you're telestomping. Ah, oh, we love these big packs. They're fun. All right, we will try to get to the boss. I think it was actually going the right way previously, but whatever. Get to kill. You get to see me kill more stuff, and that's always fun. So I don't think it's any faster than the Sorceress. Um, it's a little bit slower. I did some time trials in sewers and it was maybe like 30 seconds slower. Um, but it is, in my opinion, safer. And I think you kill bosses faster. So that's kind of nice. Uh, I'll still probably make the Sorceress because uh, I don't know how good this would be at bossing with just changing your gear setup. Um, maybe it'd be pretty decent, but... Um, I don't. I likely don't think it'll be as good at farming, just because you do not have uh, the big cooldown, or you don't have the insta teleport. You still have to wait, you know, half a second. So not not a huge deal. You can still teleport pretty fast. But I don't know. Maybe I will make a druid. But again, yeah, comes its comes with its benefits, and uh, so even he dies pretty pretty darn fast yeah i mean we're losing wolves but whatever we're not losing our mercenary we're not losing our golem so all right 
uh, not going to finish the map, but wanted to show what it could do. So there's a quick three maps, quick three bosses. Um, yeah, play with gear around a little bit, but I, I do think the Silk Weave is, is the way to go. And obviously you're going to have to use a cam there unless you can make, get like CBF somewhere else. But I'd rather get, I'd rather lose a, a facet than lose a plus one because you are doing uh, physical and fire damage. So I think having a plus one is going to be more important than just having a, a facet. So, all right, that's it guys. That is the build. That is the play style. Um, it's fun. It's cool. I like it. Uh, I think it works really well. So if you do like the setup, but you're not into sorceresses, you can do it on Druid and have similar success. So as always, if you like my videos, give it a, go ahead and give it a like, give it a subscribe. Um, feel free to comment. If you want to see something else or you have any comments or any opinions on, on the setup, uh, yeah, you can use these plus you can use these 20 skills somewhere else. Yeah. So if you think it's better used elsewhere, maybe a little more life, but I like the, I like having the teddy bears. Um, but anyway, guys, that's it. Have a good day. Bye.